What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. While I waited for my Polygon Cisco T7 to arrive in the mail, I accumulated about $3,500 in parts. Some of these parts I already had laying around, some I had to pay for at retail, and others were products of negotiations and partial sponsorships. Historically, I have an affinity for very extensive builds and this one would be no different. In the last video, we discussed how the Polygon Siskiyou T7 came in at a whopping 38 pounds, but was still a completely capable trail bike, even in the climbs. Would this borderline excessive build help us accomplish our goal of reaching 32 pounds coming down from 38? Would this bike become even more capable with this level of componentry? In this video, that's what we're going to find out, so stay tuned. After approximately five hours of wrenching off camera, my bike had completely transformed. Through this custom build, I could go all out where I wanted and save precious money where I wanted. I went all out on the fork with a RockShox Pike Ultimate, which would ensure better small bump sensitivity, air spring progression, and hopefully a pound or two of weight savings. For the wheels, I chose the Session Components C30 carbon wheel set for their 612 points of engagement, bomb proof strength, and what I assumed to be another pound or two of weight reduction. Mergura MT Trail SLs would be the brakes of choice since I already had them laying around, and let's face it, they look incredible. To try and shed another chunk of mass, I upgraded my cassette and crank set to the Shimano SLX level, but I kept the remaining drivetrain components the same since gains there would be insignificant. Aside from these highlights, I changed every piece of the bike except for the bottom bracket, headset, shock, and dropper post. I really hope we can get the weight to our goal, but first, let's check in at the trail. For this part of our test, it was back to Mount Zion since I was here just four days ago with the bike bone stock. Christine came along this time and she was able to stretch her legs since she hadn't been riding much since our amazing trip to Bentonville. If you haven't seen those two videos, I highly recommend you give them a go. This ride, much like the first, was a great success, and here are some of the highlights. How's your bike feel? Very good, much improved. Nice, nice climbing. Oh yeah, it's much easier with these carbon hoops coming up on that descent again. Let's see if we can get all the way to the end of the wood bridge without a pedal. Yep, no problem. The T7 was already an amazing climber, but with the decreased rotational mass at the wheels, it really climbed like a mountain goat. Oh yeah, that's a climb. The drastic weight reduction means that this bike now loves to get airborne. Oh, that was so good. As you can see, the Polygon Siskiyou T7 is not only an amazing trail bike out of the box, but it has almost unlimited potential to be built up as an absolute dream machine. If you're interested in seeing all the parts I put on my bike, I'll leave affiliate links in the description below that you can use to shop and fund this channel. Thanks for watching. Wait, hold up. We didn't even discuss the total weight savings. All right, so let's get a final weight here. I have no clue what to anticipate. We know that it started off at 38 pounds and that the goal is to be underneath 32. So let's see what we got. Carefully. Holy smokes, folks. Not only did we hit 32, we got one pound past it. We are at 31 pounds. Just to explain the magnitude of this, my Niner was a carbon bike, carbon everything. That thing was 30 pounds flat. So this is only one pound heavier and it started off as an $1,800 trail bike. So yeah, I'm stoked. Anywho, as always folks, you already know that the ride is secure and I'll see you in the next one.